everyone. Welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's video I wanted to talk about the second Saturn return and just to go through some interesting points, uh, just to take a look at what it is, how it works, how it can impact you in your life. I recently did a reading for a client who I did an individual reading for this particular client of mine. I think it was about a year ago. And she came back and she said, um, you know, would really love to have your analysis on my year ahead. And when I plugged her into the system, and she didn't say too much more than that. She wanted to look at health. She wanted to look at year ahead, what's going on. And plugged her into the system. And I was like, oh, my God, look at that. We've got a beautiful, beautiful set of events happening for this wonderful client. She's got her second Saturn return, which also includes... Jupiter return because Jupiter returns approximately every 12 years and you'll see those two happening together. So the 60th, around the 60 mark, that's very significant because you're going to have all kinds of returns. You're very likely to have a Mars return in there. Um, she has, we, we, we could see that. Um, you'll also have, of course, the Sun return, which we have every year, Venus return every year, Mercury return every year. So we always have those. But around the 60 point, 58, 59, 60, any of those years, and, and the repercussions can even happen in those couple of years afterwards, it can be a very significant time. And I really loved looking at this and I loved looking at her chart and, and loved trying to work out, okay, what are likely you know, going to be the things that will happen at this time? And some things that we can look at for all of us. I didn't prepare any specific notes today. I just thought I would chat freely for a few minutes about the second Saturn return. Just give you a little overview. Um, and of course, to say, you know, if you're approaching that age and you'd like me to take a look, I would love to have a look for you and see, you know, what kind of um, energies you're likely to be dealing with. Very often, I think the second Saturn return is, it is very significant. Some astrologers say it's even more significant than the first one. I know Ernst Wilhelm, uh, one of my favorite teachers, he, he does say that the second Saturn return is more important. Uh, I, you know, in some ways, I tend to think the first one can be very important, especially if you are just experiencing it raw, which I did. I... I knew about astrology and I was always interested in it a little bit on the side up until my Saturn return. But that was the time when I was knee deep in big problems. I really had to get into astrology and spirituality and, you know, hang out with some shamans and, and do all kinds of interesting things. I, I needed to go beyond the physical. I needed to reach into the sky. I needed to look at the abstract. I needed to reach for all these extra things because you know, life was just too difficult to handle. So I tend to think the first one is actually probably harder because I tend to think that this, by the time you get to the second one, you should know about Saturnian energy and how to use it and, um, yeah, how to, how to use it in your life. You, you know, it, it shouldn't be unfamiliar to you you'll know. So, and because Saturn has been through that area of life for you before, you have experience. So, with the benefit of something like an astrology reading, you can move through that period in a very conscious way. And you can have some ideas, you can have some forethought, you can have some strategies, you can kind of prepare a bit you know where you know where to be conservative financially or where to take your time with certain relationships or um, where there are going to be areas of your life that require more effort. You'll just you'll know that from from doing a little bit of homework beforehand. Uh, I think this client of mine was was really happy um, actually with sorry with the work that I did. Um, really really happy I think and I'm going to meet her in a couple of weeks and we're going to have an in-person catch-up so that's always a good thing 
But what were some of the things that I, I went over with her? Well, just a couple of basics. I won't go in depth or anything. You know, when I do an individual reading and I record it, I do that for a whole hour. I, I talk a lot in depth about your specific chart. But in, in general terms, um, here are some interesting quick things to look out for. Now, when you're looking at, say, for example, Sun, Mercury and Venus, the return of those internal planets, because they're inside the Earth's orbit, those forces, and they're also very creative. You look at Mercury and Venus, very creative. That's the artistic force of your life. You know, uh, I, I definitely think they come together and stimulate the imagination and you know, the dream side of our minds and, and put the sun in there that's illuminating things and, and, you know, what's happening in your soul, your soul desires, who you really are at your core. So those factors will stir and it will be a time of you in some ways feeling your hands on the wheel of the car that is your life. So there is that, by the way, apologies for the light that's flickering. Everything in my place is breaking down, just thought I'd tell you. Um, it might go out at any point, but anyway. Uh, so you've got the internal planets that are kind of, that will be showing you what your desires are, that will be showing you, do you know what, I always wanted to pursue my dream of becoming an artist, but I've been an accountant for the last 30 years, and quite frankly, I know I have got something in me and I need to start that career as an artist now. I need to do that for the next 30 years because this second Saturn return is going to set you up for the next 30 years and it's going to show you either that, either, you know, I, I haven't achieved everything yet. I haven't done everything I wanted to do yet. I still have more left in me. I, I, I know I want to get on and do this and, you know, hopefully everything's well set up so that you can get on and do what you want. Um, Saturn and Jupiter will be looking to help structure and set things up. Jupiter very often will be looking to give you opportunities, will be looking to even set you up financially because at that time we're not able to work quite in the way that we used to when we're in our 20s and 30s. So there's going to have to be some intelligent organization around that kind of thing and the planets want to help you do that. Um, sometimes as well, I mean, another thing that you want to look at in a second Saturn return is looking at the Dasha setup and to see how that's structured. That will very often give you clues as to um, whether, you, whether or not you're going to be working or, or whether it's time to wind down or that will give you some clues. clues. So for example... Uh, a couple of the examples of celebrities I looked up just recently when I did this most recent um, return reading, uh, I looked at Caroline Mace, one of my all-time favorite teachers who has taught me so much and just about everything that I know about the chakra system. She is a medical intuitive. She's extraordinary. Uh, I mean, I've looked at her chart, three exalted planets in a birth chart, Hello, I do not see that very often. She's got a great chart. But anyway, when you look up her Dasha setup, it's really interesting because she is, I'm pretty sure right now she's in Mercury Mahadasha. Keta Mahadasha will come at about 75 years of age and she's still working. She's still flying around the world doing workshops, busy as ever. Karl Lagerfeld's another good one to look at. Even though we don't have his time, I, I was able to have a little look at his moon chart. There's a very hardworking man. He's working, um, he's 84, you know, still sending new designs down the runway. I love it, you know, an 84-year-old man telling young people how to dress. I think it's fantastic. So his dasha set up as well. I think his um, Ketu dasha is going to start, I think, in a few years' time. So sometimes the setup of the dasha system will t tell you, give you clues as to what it is you're meant to be doing. Uh, I've seen some charts, it's really interesting, I've seen, you know, Venus... Mahadashas and, and things like that and, and Ketu, Ketu Venus and that kind of thing you, you kind of know that maybe it's maybe it's time to relax a bit maybe you've done enough so the inner internal planets are going to show you your desire and what you want now the outer planets so we're talking Mars, Jupiter, Saturn 
what are they going to show you? Now, those are going to show you some very interesting things. They're going to bring situations and opportunities in the external world for you to deal with. So they could be good, they could be bad. Um, I'm, well, I don't want to say bad. I never want to say bad. Challenging. How about that? You know, if there's anything that you haven't quite dealt with, you may need to deal with it. But will it be bad? I actually don't think it would be bad because I think by this time you picked up a huge amount of wisdom and a huge amount of knowledge and a huge amount of experience working with the energies of your natal chart. So really I think there might be some extra tests but uh, I, I don't think it'll be anything would be too bad. I also think that one of the reasons that I really, really, really love looking at the second Saturn return, and I, and I really enjoyed looking at it for this client, was that I really got a strong sense that this is a real time to look back and to celebrate your life and to celebrate who you are and what you've done and all that you've accomplished. And that is a very Saturnian thing. Okay, that is the pleasure that you can get out of Saturn, right? Saturn is not, when we're talking pleasure, we're talking Venus, right? Venus and Moon, but definitely Venus. Venus is pleasure, party, enjoyment, do little, get lots, that kind of thing. Um, but Saturn, how do you get pleasure out of such a hard taskmaster challenging planet? Um, and, and this is how I think you can get pleasure out of Saturn. It's that when you look back to 30 years ago, you can see how far you've come. And when you look back over the whole life, you can see, my God, I've changed, I've transformed, I've healed, I've learnt so much. And sure, okay, you would have regretted, you would have, you know, but, but through regret and all that kind of thing, there's such wonderful learning and wisdom to come from that. So I think that Saturn is, it offers us a really great time to celebrate in a very reflective sort of a way and to look back and go, wow, this has been an amazing ride. And you'll see internally, externally, in every single way, how much you've changed and how much you've grown. Um, you would have had to have regardless of how your setup is, uh, you know, amazing. Saturn's really an amazing planet. Jupiter, of course, I think is always looking to, to help you out. And I think that Jupiter is there at that second Saturn return time, fifth Saturn return, he's, fifth Jupiter return, sorry, he's doing. And I think he's really looking to set you up financially. So again, that will be something that, that you'll want to look at and figure out. Um, in some people's charts, it's, it's squarely financial. You can see it. Um, in some people's charts, it's also Jupiter's looking at other things. Um, I've seen this in a few charts as well, that like Jupiter can show a tremendous wealth of wisdom that you've acquired and wealth of knowledge. So that's pretty amazing. What happens in the Mars return? Mars return is really quite interesting. Um, opportunities there, you might be figuring out some physical type things. You might be figuring out, um, there was a note that Ernst Wilhelm made in his teachings, which was that it can indicate surgery uh, as well. And it's the kind of surgery that you just need to get done. You've been meaning to get it done for ages. You know, it would help a particular something and you just haven't done it. So not a serious like life and death surgery, but a sort of, you know, wouldn't it be good to sort out the physical body type thing? Um, that, that was the sense I got. Um, and depending, of course, on where these planets lie, what they're the lord of, how they operate in your set of charts, that will determine a lot as well. But, yeah, I think, um, and it, well, here's, here's another note on the Jupiter front. Um, you know, he wants to give you opportunities so that you can find your greatest happiness. And I just think that's so wonderful. Um, Jupiter's a wonderful planet. 
I should talk more about Jupiter, shouldn't I? <laughs> I talk a lot about Saturn. But I need to talk more about all of them, I think. I was realizing that today, that, oh, I'm kind of discriminating, uh, spending a lot of time with Saturn there. But I feel like w one thing I want to do is I want to, as I did with my song series dedication, you know, I want to write what's been wronged before. So Scorpio gets a bad rap. In astrology and if you watch my song dedication you'll see me there saying that that's not fair it's not right and I want to change the, um, the reputational damage that's been done to poor Scorpio because it's a really wonderful sign and um, same deal with Saturn I think he gets a bad rap and so naturally I want to kind of spend some more time saying look he's he's not that bad he's just misunderstood so yeah but I hope you like my little overview of the second Saturn return. And as topics come up um, and, you know, as it's quick and easy for me to do, I'll just put a video together and try and upload as often as I can. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been a good video. Um, I realize this is not for everybody. It's not everybody is at that stage. So, uh, of course, if people dropped off, that's fine. I do have more interesting topics for you know, the millennials out there as well. So stay tuned on this channel. There's always more to come. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.